Hey you, yeah you, are you tired of laying your small, blocky head on a hard, blocky bed? Well, I've got the solution for you. A pillow. And you can put this pillow on whatever bed you want. You got a regular bed? Bam! Pillow. You got this nice crib for your baby, but you don't have anything soft. Bam! Pillow. Wow, big bed. I'm, I suppose you could fit two pillows on there. Jeez. You got a, a sleeping bag because you're camping. Don't want to lay your head on whatever that is. Bam! Pillow. Got your friend coming over, so you got the bunk bed. Bam! Pillow. Finally, you got this great princess bed. Gotta have lots of pillows there. Whoops. Lots of pillows. Because cause you're a princess, you know? So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to add pillows to all of your beds, and also how to design each and every one of these beds. And all of them work, including the sleeping bag, which is pretty cool. Before we jump into the tutorial, I just want to say Bedrock players love you to death. But unfortunately, this is a Java exclusive tutorial, so this isn't going to work for you at all. Sorry. So there are six tutorials here, and as we go along, they will increase in difficulty, but also, in my opinion, get a lot cooler. So let's just jump straight into the tutorial with the upgraded version of your generic bed. These are the materials you're going to need, so really not much at all. And this is actually super quick and easy to make. So the way that this pillow build hack works is you just have an iron helmet on an armor stand and this is sunk under the ground such that only the top is sticking out of the bed. So we're going to dig down two blocks where you want the head of the bed to be. Now to get the armor stand at the right height we're going to need to put down six layers of snow. So I believe that was six but let me double check one two three four five six. Now six is the magic number for the height that you want pillows to be at. So we're going to use six for basically all of these tutorials. You just stick your iron helmet on there like that. Now if I put down the bed now, there are two issues. One, you have a hole under your bed. And also the pillow is just kind of sticking out here. We want it back a little bit farther. So what you're going to do is you're going to drop that down like that. Place a piston, power it, and presto. It pushes the block over there to cover up the hole and it pushes the armor stand back a little bit, which is really nice for getting it in the right spot. And you place your bed down like that, and presto, you've got a pillow on your bed, and then I like to put this here, it's just like a nice little headboard. And there you go, that is the generic, upgraded, plus version, exclusive, VIP, however you wanna call it, high quality bed right here, super easy to make. Now say you're having a baby, all right? This is a nice little crib, it's the exact same thing as that bed there, except it's got this little framework around it. So this is just as easy to make. I'm just gonna drop over here and it's the same thing. And then just simply frame it with these acacia trapdoors and you got a nice little crib right there, whoops. Easy as that. So this third tutorial is a master bed with a nice big bed frame and some storage. It is the same generic principles as the other two tutorials that we've done so far, so it'll be just as easy to build. What you want to think about is that if you want two pillows for an extra wide bed, you're just going to have to uh, do this uh, whole snow step and everything just too wide. It's as easy as you can imagine. Get it just like that. Now we can scoot both of these back just like that. And presto, you, you've got it just like that. It's that easy. And if you liked how I did the bed frame over there, it is as easy as four blocks wide like that. Stairs there, 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 and there. And then put a trap door here and here. And finally, if you want, you can go ahead and put chests there. But you can put any sort of bed frame you want around this. It's really however you want. I am really glad that you stuck around to this point of the video because this is where things start getting interesting. Because this sleeping bag, you can actually sleep in it. Might not look like it, but I'm gonna show you by waiting till it's dark. All right, I sat here for six hours and it is now night. So as you can see, our area is lit up by this nice little campfire. And I'm gonna hop straight in to my sleeping bag. Just like that, I am in and presto. You can use it to skip to dawn. Just like that. Now the way this works is there's a grass path here, which is only seven pixels tall instead of eight, which means I can see underneath the carpet and click a bed 
that is hiding underneath the carpet. So the tutorial for the sleeping bag is just as easy as the other tutorials we've gone over so far, but there is a slight twist. So you're gonna need to make sure you grab a shovel, your carpet, whatever color you want. It doesn't matter what color bed you grab because it's gonna be basically invisible. So pick which block you want the pillow to be on and dig down two layers. Now, the pillow of a sleeping bag is a lot closer to the ground than that of another bed. So we're only going to use three layers of snow this time instead of the regular six. You can then place down your pillow and let's push it back into the proper spot such that it's a good spot for the head. Now you can place down your bed. Don't worry about filling in that block. You can just put down the bed like that and fill in the grass there. Now you can place carpet above this spot on the bed, but since there's the armor stand here, you can't place it there. So we're going to use a piston to push it into the right spot and then you can fill in with the carpet there. Now this looks like a great sleeping bag, but right now I can't actually get into bed. So grab a shovel and right click to turn it into a grass path. And now you can peek through that crack and hop right into your sleeping bag. Now here's a cool little bunk bed design. It is also very simple to make. So these are the materials you're gonna need, just some building blocks. You can design it however you want though. So unfortunately you can only get a pillow on this bottom bed because the top one, there's no nowhere to hide an armor stand, but you can only really see the bottom bunk, so it doesn't matter too much and it still looks really good. So for this design here, we're going to start off by placing down the pillow against this back wall. And then there we go, we can push it into place just like that. And that bed is now done. For the frame, I recommend using bookshelves because I think it looks really good. And then take oak trapdoors and make sure that you are equal even with the top of the bookshelves there. You don't wanna be in that spot there because you can't place blocks on top of that. So you wanna make sure it is even with the top of the bookshelf. And then I put some ladders here, that way you can get up to the top. So now we're going to put three trapdoors on either side of this to complete the frame. This gets kind of tricky because you need to be crouching while you do it, but it's really not that bad. There we go. And then you can put your bed down just like that and trap doors against the bed. And presto, your bunk bed is completely done. Now I saved the princess bed tutorial for last because it is by far the most complicated. As you can see, we've got a whole nother type of pillows there, kind of standing up in the back. We've got custom banners. So this looks really good, but it takes quite a bit more work. Nonetheless, it is easy for even a beginner to create. So I do not recommend using glazed terracotta for the floor because as we start pushing things around with pistons, the pattern is gonna get all messed up. I spent a lot of time getting this pattern fixed after I'd done this tutorial. So I do not recommend this. And for this tutorial, I am not gonna be fixing the floor. The pattern's gonna be all thrown off. So just don't worry about it too much. We're gonna start with the pillows. So we're going to hollow out a two by two square in the wall and a two by two square on the floor, just like this. You need to make sure that you're okay with digging into the wall for this tutorial because this bed requires it. We hollowed out this square because there are actually four pillows that we're going to be using for this. There are the two generic pillows, which are white, and the two pink pillows. So the two white pillows we're going to put in the front. These are just like normal pillows that we've been doing the entire video. Now we are only going to want to place down one of these at a time because we're going to push these to the center and you need to have a block for that to push against. So let's drop in there and that pillow is now pushed to the center. We can now do it on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place down our pillow and as you can see, the two pillows are now pushed together. We can now place some temporary blocks behind them and actually break these blocks because we do need to push these pillows to the back. So just like that. And those are now in the final position that they will be. So this is where we're going to put our pink pillows. But first we need to create our pink pillows. So go ahead and grab a leather cap and some pink dye, put it in the crafting table and presto, you have yourself a pink pillow. 
Now the pink pillows are going to sit a bit higher than the white pillows. So we are going to just place them straight on this first dirt block. Go ahead and face the wall when you place them down. That way the side of the pillow is what's going to be sticking through the wall. As you can see, that is the surface that will be sticking through the wall. Now we're going to come back here and push these forward with our piston. And now you can see that these pillows are going to be kind of behind and standing up, whereas these pillows are pushed together. The pillows would turn black if we were to try to fill in this wall with concrete. So what we're going to do is we're going to place down trapdoors facing towards the side of the wall that we care about and that will become the back of the bed. These will not cause the armor stand to suffocate, which is really good. So for these, we are just going to push them in with pistons because you cannot place blocks where the armor stands are. And now we can open these and there you go. That is the back wall of the bed like that. Now you can arrange these armor stands however you want for whatever pillow configuration you want. As you can see over here, I had the backs of the pillows facing, so you get that ugly brown stripe. But it also becomes more of a square and less of this kind of, I don't know, weird shape. <laughs> so mess with that however you want. But that is how you get the pillows done just like that. You can now place down your bed. And presto, that is 90% of your princess bed completely done. Now we're going to create a bit of a frame out of the trap doors. So go ahead and put two just like that. That's a little bit of a, a footboard like that. Crouch and place them just like that at the top of that trap door. Now here we go, we have a nice little canopy. And from this, we're going to hang our fancy pink curtains. Now to make our curtains, we're going to need access to a loom. Within the loom, you can place down a pink banner then select the magenta die and select this vertical lines pattern. Finally, if you put that back in and add another pink die and do the vertical lines again, it will cause these big thick stripes to become much thinner, almost invisible stripes, which kind of looks like folded curtains. So now that you have that banner, go ahead and place it there, 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 and there. And there you go, your princess bed is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. It actually got really complicated as I went on trying to uh, do the tutorial, especially for the princess bed. So hopefully I edited it okay and it all came together in the end. I can't wait to see what kind of awesome Minecraft beds you guys create. Make sure to send me pictures of your builds in my Discord server. The link is in the description below. Also, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.